Good afternoon, students, faculty, and staff. Let me first start by thanking you for working so closely with us to manage one of the most difficult challenges of our time. The coronavirus has changed everything about how we do business. It has changed where we're working from. It has changed how we interact with each other. But what I'm most proud of is the reality of how it has brought us together so that we could address this challenge in the best way possible so that we serve each other and that we serve our students. I wanna start with some of the basics that we know apply to all of us that we need to be conscious of. All of you have heard the term social distancing by now. What it really comes down to is how do we protect each other? How do we protect our students? How do we protect our community from this virus that has unfortunately taken over a lot of our day-to-day -day lives, both locally and even globally? And so it starts with something very fundamental. Let's make sure that we're taking care of each other by washing our hands with soap and water, making sure that we're keeping our distance from folks, particularly if we think we might be sick or if we think they may be sick as well. And if we are sick, to make sure that we call our doctor or go to the doctor to make sure that any sickness that we're feeling, particularly if it looks or feels like it might be the coronavirus, uh, to make sure we go to the doctor to take care of that. This is something we can't be serious enough about, even when we talk about uh, how we're interacting with people in the community. As you can see, bars have been shut down, a lot of venues have been limited to 10 people, and Broward College is taking that seriously as well. All of our activities have been really around finding the gui following the guidelines of the CDC, of our president, and our governor, making sure that we're as safe as we could possibly be. And some of that is exemplified right here. I'm in my home. Uh, I am not one to work from home, and uh, but that's changing. Uh, I'm in my kitchen, I have my computer, and for the foreseeable future, this will be my primary place of work. I know that our staff and employees have already begun remote working, and I could not be more grateful for how you've responded to this. You've been incredibly focused on recognizing not only we have to be safe in protecting each other, but protecting our students. And that doesn't just mean protecting their safety, that's priority number one, but also protecting our students and their academic progress. And so to our faculty and staff and my colleagues, I could not be more grateful for how you've responded to this. The collaboration has been extraordinary. I've seen and heard nothing but good things about how we've responded to this, prioritized our students and prioritized each other. And for that, I will be forever grateful and know that I'm here for you and to support you. To our students, I know this is, has to be incredibly uncomfortable. And this is the kind of experience that really typifies why we love serving you. This is a challenging time, and we know that our students rise to the challenge. We are going to rise with you. We're going to continue to provide tutoring services. We're going to continue to provide advising services and financial, financial aid services and all the other services that we can pull together to make sure that this process is as smooth for you as it can possibly be. I know that a lot of you are trying to draw upon the inspiration because this is just another challenge that you have to face in order to achieve your academic success. But know that we're working with you. We're here to support you. We're here to give everything that we can so that you can continue to make the difference in your lives. And I know a lot of you have to draw upon certain inspirations as I do all the time. Many of you know that you're in this because you're the first in your family to go to college and you want to be the first and you won't be, not, you won't be denied. Lean on that inspiration. A lot of you may have children and you want your children to see their mother or father get their certificate or their degree. That inspiration has not changed. We're here with you. We want to make sure that you pursue that inspiration and help you get to where you need to be. The reality is, students, you are our inspiration. And through this challenge, we will wake up every day early. We will wake up and we'll start working from our homes. We will deal with the inconveniences. We will work late. We will manage every twist and turn that comes between now and the other side of this challenge. But know that we are with you every step of the way. Call upon us, email us, contact us in any way that you deem appropriate. We will be there for you. And if we make mistakes, know that we're working through those as well. This is new to all of us. There's nothing like this. We've never seen it before. And as you should know that when we talk amongst our colleagues, we talk about you first. We talk about how we can make this as smooth as possible and how we can ensure that you continue to make the positive difference in your life. So with that, I thank you students for continuing to fight. I thank you to my colleagues 
for fighting together for our students in our community. Thank you.